Marcus Chuck Chuck Corley was born in the Washington DC district and he began his career in 1999 versus Aaron Smith where he knocked him out in the first round of a four rounder. He had successive wins in his career by points decision, TKOs, and knockouts. He faced Dylan Carew, who was the first person December the 5th, 1998 to give him a draw. Two fights later, he lost to Daniel Luhan by split decision in a 10 rounder on March 20th, 1999. He went on to win the USBA super lightweight title from Ene Julio on September 24th, 1999. His split decision win was one of his greatest wins at the time. He went on to vie for the vacant WBO World Super Lightweight title versus Felix Flores after Ener Julio, the same person he faced in 1999, had to relinquish the title after a routine eye exam revealed that he had cataracts. Chop Chop would win the vacant title after only taking the fight on five days notice, June 30th, 2001. After winning, he defended his title against Ener Julio, who he had faced earlier on in his career. He was the WBO super lightweight former champion who had to vacate his title. He had a unanimous decision win over Ener Julio. He then went on to face Randall Bailey, January the 4th, 2003. This is round two of the fight, where you see Chop Chop, who is in the southpaw position, attacking Randall Bailey. Using the right hook, looping right hook, looping left, straight left, and inside fighting where he would have hooks to the body. Chop Chop Corley had very nice slick maneuvers to get on the inside of his opponent and to negate his opponent's range. Randall Bailey was a former WBA WBO super lightweight champion as well. Chop Chop Corley, the current champion. As you can see, Chop Chop Corley uses uppercuts and hooks to the liver, to the spleen, uppercuts to the chest and to the body. Randall Bailey here is the aggressor and the pressure fighter whereas Chop Chop is the moving boxer. Chop Chop was skilled in boxing using different methods, feints, jabs to the body, hooks over a jab, and different counter techniques. His wide looping punches also were interesting would arc his shots a lot when he wanted to put leverage and power into his shots. There you see him land a straight left to Bailey's pit. After facing Randall Bailey and having a win over him, he faced in July of that same year, Zab Judah, July 12, 2003. Corley was equal to the task, both being southpaws. Zab Judah very sharp, very quick, coming off of a straight jab. Chup Chup Corley, more slick, maneuvering himself past Zab's jab to land hooks to the body and shots to the head. The fight was more in the center of the ring. While Chop Chop was a little wild with his shots, Zab Judah was more precise, landing more straight shots. Even though Zab Judah did win going for having it 115-113 for Corley, Chuck Gamper having it 112-115 for Zab, and Michael Pernick having it 13-115 for Zab Judah. 
Chop Chop Corley went on to fight Floyd Mayweather Jr. May 22nd, 2004. Here is Corley's performance in the fourth round of the fight. Early on in the fight, in the replays, it shows Corley hitting Floyd Mayweather Jr. and stunning him in the fourth round. A good in-close fighter, Corley proved to be quite a match for Floyd Mayweather. However, Mayweather came back strong in the 8th round. Mayweather would go on to put down Chub Chub Corley in the tent. Mayweather would go on to win a unanimous decision over Chub Chub Corley. However, after losing to Floyd Mayweather, Chub Chub Corley fought Miguel Cotto, Junior Witter, Devon Alexander. Ashley Theopan rematched Randall Bailey, fought Marcos Chino Maidana, Lucas Matisse, Thomas Dolorme, Ruslan Provotnikov, Victor Postal, and Selkuk Aydin. The Marcus Corley fought the who's who in his division. Now at lightweight. DeMarcus Corley still continues on. Very experienced, we are yet to see what great heights Corley can still continue to make at this time in his career. You guys have a great day.